In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove the Chrome managed by your organization message. So if you're seeing the message that says Chrome is managed by your organization, this can either mean that your Chrome browser is being managed by an administrator or an organization, or it could also mean that your computer has been infected with some kind of malware. And it's important that we remove this from our system. So the first thing you want to do is check that your browser is being managed by an organization. Now to do this, click on the three vertical dots in the top right hand side, scroll all the way down to the bottom and you should see this message here saying managed by your organization. So if you do see this message, it means your browser is being managed by an organization. Another way that you can check this is by typing in to the address bar Chrome colon forward slash forward slash and then the word policy and hit enter. Now underneath policy name, if you see any Chrome policies here, like I have this one here, then it's quite likely that your Chrome browser is being managed by an organization. So in order to actually stop your browser from being managed, then the first thing we need to do is click back on these three vertical dots, scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page and click on settings. In the left hand side, select reset settings and click on restore settings to the original defaults. Now, as you can see, this will reset all of your Chrome settings. It will also disable any extensions and it will delete any cookies and other temporary site data. So once you're happy with this, go and click reset settings, and then you can check to see if this message has been removed. Now, if it's not working, what you'll need to do is head over to the start menu on your computer, search for registry editor and click on the registry editor tool. In the left hand side, we want to expand the folder where it says H key local machine, then expand the folder next to software. And you need to scroll down until you see a folder called policies and also expand this. Then we're going to expand the folder called Google. And inside of here, you should have a folder called Chrome. Now, what you can do is right click on this Chrome folder and click on delete. Click yes to confirm. And once you've deleted this, you can try restarting your Chrome browser. And once again, you can check to see if that solved your issue. The next thing you'll need to do is head over to the file explorer on your computer, double click on your C drive, scroll all the way down to windows and click on this, scroll down again until you see a folder called system 32 and double click this. And then we're going to scroll down until you see a folder called group policy. Now, if you see a folder called either group policy or group policy users, then we're going to right click on this folder and click on the trash icon to delete it. Now, the last thing we're going to do is head back over to the start menu, search for CMD, and then right click on the command prompt and run this as administrator. Now type in GP update space slash force and then hit enter. Now, once you've done this, you can restart your Google Chrome browser and that should have now got rid of that message. If it's still not working, the last solution is to head over to your start menu and search for settings. In the left hand side, select apps, click on installed apps, and then using the search box, just type in Chrome. Now from this list, you should see the Google Chrome browser, click on the three horizontal dots and go and press uninstall. Once you've uninstalled the Google Chrome browser, you can just simply reinstall it and that should have solved any issues with the managed your organization. If you did find this video helpful, then let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next one.